welcome and to uh, new viewers if I have any welcome to you too and uh, today I'm going to tie I'm going to try to tie I don't know how this will go but I, I will I'm going to try some kind of uh, in flames the um, from the Michael Fredin uh, book so uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go but I will give it a try and uh, hope for the best because my home river is uh, really dirty water in it now and uh, I'm gonna try in flames there and uh, hope that they can see that fly and uh, I'm gonna start again with Mirage Tinsel of course so I'm just gonna start to tie and first I will connect the two dimensions I cut this in an angle and put uh, the extra small together with the medium and the medium is uh, orange and the extra small is magen magenta so here we're gonna start with some mirage tinsel and try to follow the recipe as close as we can I have a body hackle for this one I, but it's is really shitty quality but I will try anyway wind it on behind the thread like that and lock it in and fold it and a few more turns and on this fly I will have a little tail which I have already prepared in orange and uh, maybe I should brush away a little bit of this like that and I think this is quite good length and tie it in quite wide loose turn tight down so you can cover up the space where you tied in the mirage tinsel and I cut this in an angle so I'm just gonna leave it like this and wind on the rest on top and on this one I don't think we need to taper this so much but I can taper it just a little bit in the that's good enough for me yeah it's okay sea uh, lost silver SSS braid for ribbing should tie in on my side and uh, for the back body we will use hot orange in flames my absolute favorite braid for many reasons and start to tie that forward be sure to cover up where you tied it in look not, you can't see so much of the mirage tinsel but that's okay I could have done it a lot better but for some reason I didn't like this and then we lock it in Pull it back and a few more turns 
and then we're going to put on hot orange in flames. Can you see the a little bit <laughs> of the mirage tinsel? <laughs> Whatever. And uh, now to hot orange in flames dubbing. I mix the regular dubbing with a glitz dubbing. Just wind that on until you're satisfied with the amount. I'm going to put on quite much because we want the drop form through the whole fly. That maybe will be enough and here I will take one of my hideous uh, Chinese cock hackles that I found <laughs> and use as a body hackle. So I tie it in on my side and because of the stem I use a few more turns than usual. And now we will try and see if this body hackle will stay in place and the, what's wrong with these ones is the strands is almost as long in the tip as in the bottom here so you don't get any tapering down of the strands which is which looks a lot better but I don't think the fish will mind First turn, close to the dubbing. <laughs> this is my last try. If this doesn't work, I won't use a body hackle on this shit. I'll try to be a little more careful then, okay? First turn, go back. Maybe, just have to lock in that, got it, I got it, don't let go now, <laughs> yes, uh, I'm a professional, so I'm not a professional but I don't give up easily. And I like to tie flies, so this is what you get. Sometimes it goes great, the whole fly when you tie it, and sometimes it goes really, really bad. Well, let's see how it looks when I brushed it out. Dubbing brush. Everything sits together, but the fly came loose. Could have been worse. And it definitely could have been better. But this is how the body turned out with my 
Chinese coke sackle and now it's time for some hot orange in flames SSS Angel Hair HD and try to tie that on wide fold it back and hold it down put a little pressure on the thread and just spread them if you're not happy with how the width and then just tie them in and cut them off pretty short don't want them to tangle with a hook but um, this time we have a little tail that protects the hook a little bit yeah, something like that and the first wing is going to be uh, it says burnt orange but I don't have any burnt orange so it's have to be this orange and it's gonna be two orange wings so I'll, I will take these because it was a long one longer one for number two and then I will take a shorter wing for number one Like that, and then brush away a little bit of the fluff. Like that, and take away a few of the shorter strands as well. <coughs> Put it between my index finger and my thumb and then I try to make it even here at first and then I pull in the middle as always fewer and fewer strands to make it get a good taper this has to do like this and then pinch it with your thumb and index finger take away a few more strands on the left side because there were a lot more on that side and then we just put it in here press it down a little bit and loose turn one two three four five turns and I spread it a little bit so we get it quite wide like this and then we cut off the waist that's all right this first wing in place and then uh, wing uh, Alta Gold SSS Angel Hair on top of this wing so we take a few strands here and we make it a little flashy because it's gonna be in murky waters quite good I think so just cut them off directly make them a little longer than the, the wing because I want them to be seen underneath the next wing which also gonna be a orange one like 
looks really messy so let's see how it how it ends up and this one should be a little bit longer I hope and we taper this a little bit too pull in the middle like that looks pretty good and we try to make this one as long as we can and this is a little bit longer so it's better than nothing press it down loose turn one two three four five and some of the strands got loose because I tapered it as much as I could <laughs> just cut this away check so it's the same on both sides looks pretty good and now you're supposed to have a short magenta wing I think uh, but first some on orange of hot orange in flame as it says angel hair so first a few of these this is the real angel hair this is the thinner one come on give me a few that's enough and I will try to spread them over the wing one turn fold them over and one or two turns looks pretty good they're a little long so I will trim them off in different lengths that came loose after the tapering but uh, we will see what happens and now you're supposed to have a shorter magenta wing about a little more than half the length I think take away a little bit of the fluff and then we taper it just a little bit and this should be shorter and the other wings but we want it even on top so I think like this will be good a loose turn again one two three four five <clears throat> looks like an even spread in my eyes and uh, it's going as I thought it would but I hope it turns out decent in the end you never know until you're done with it but I think the spread is even and then it's time for the jungle cocks which we will put on and then I I'm, I'm, I'm going to put on the the black wing first it's supposed to be a, a thin black wing on top of this not so many strands so this looks about the right amount and we 
tip this a little bit like this and this should be longer than the other wings I think this will be good and spread it a little bit and then a loose turn as always one two three four five and it landed in the middle and I don't know what this looks like but maybe yeah it sits pretty good like this and this is a lot to cover with the with the dubbing now because uh, of the quality of the hair when the quality of the hair you use is uh, thicker when you tie it in it gets really high because you tie in everything on top of each other so the better the hair you have the lower the height of all the wings get but maybe we can hide that in some way we have three hackles so maybe we can make something out of this this the next film I make I'm gonna tie something that I that I'm good at because Uh, it feels better to tie something on video that you know how to tie but uh, sometimes you gotta try something new <laughs> two turns and then we bend this a little bit over our fingernail as we did without the feather Feather, feather, and then we try to put this in the same spot, the same length. That looks good from above. So, like that. I think it looks a little messy. But it's let let's keep on, keep on tying. Cut away the stems on the jungle cock, and look so they sit the way you want to. And now it's time to glue. I'm gonna have to use a lot of glue here because this does not look like nice this bit here so we need to make sure that the hair gets enough glue to stay on the fly when you fish with it something like that I think that's enough I hope so Let's see how it looks after I fished it in my home river. And now we will start with a uh, front tackle burnt orange. And here I have, I will have to use quite, pretty much hackle on this one to hide the ugliness that I have created in the front here mm, tie it in on my side and this is uh, a burnt orange and hackle plier And a 
as always we make the first turn as close to the wings as possible and uh, first we take it not only have I made the most ugly wing section attachment I didn't even do this right so we try again and then I just do it with a little harder turns and hope that it sits still this time and the first turn as close to the wings as you can like that and this tie in like that and hopefully we get to cover this ugly part with a magenta hackle and then a few turns with a black hackle this is not how I imagined my first in flames to look but sometimes it goes like this but we're not done yet and uh, now we'll take a magenta hackle in front I only had the grizzly ones and cut that little triangle and try to tie it in as close to the other hackle as possible like that and with this hackle we should be able to cover up this ugly part so just keep on winding on the hackles this as close to the other hackle of course the tighter you tie it the more durable it will be <laughs> and maybe we can get one more turn Yes, exactly. And lock it in. Two, three, four, five. And cut off the stem. And then I, we have succeeded with hiding the worst. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't think what this is very f fluffy and a lot of stuff going on. And I will take a smaller black and make a few turns in the front here. Tied in in the same spot that we tied in the 
Magenta Hackle. Magenta. Magenta is in Swedish. Magenta is in English. And uh, finish it off with black, black hackle. I don't think that Michael would have put this fly on his leader. <laughs> But I will, in my home river. The fish in our home river are not so picky, so... <sighs> Why did I do this today? Start over. No rush. I don't have to work tomorrow, so I can sleep in. And one more turn, then we are finished with a hackles. Just lock this one in, two, three, four, five. <sighs> this fly is the fly I have tied in the last, uh, oh, as long as I can remember. That, that I had to use this much hackle to. I don't e know if it even looks like a... in flames. <laughs> Let's just say, as we always do, I tied a variant of it. But I promise you that I will fish it. And cone head, copper or fluorescent orange. I don't have any fluorescent orange and extra small, so it has to be a copper. And just twist it down if it's tight. And now we will glue the thread and tie a little gluey thread head. To secure everything front here so just try to wind all the turns on top of each other so you don't wind it against the front or against the back just try to wind it on top of each other and then I will have a little bit of glue here for the cone head and then Niklas Bauer's pike tube hold against in the back and just push it down like that and the fly <laughs> is done take it out of the vise And uh, yeah, pretty happy with the spread. This might work. And uh, 
jungle cox it's pretty good and now i just cut this off to three millimeters and melt it down slowly a little by little until it presses against the turbo cone in tungsten and I'll push it push this up on the needle to make the hole good and uh, yeah this is what it turned out to be so I have seen better looking flies but this is a fat one and I tried to make it uh, in flames but it it doesn't look like Michael Fredin's in flames but uh, as I said I will fish it in my home river <laughs> It's okay. I would not. It'll do. It'll do. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would be very happy. And I promise the next time I tie a fly, I will tie something that I'm a little better at. A pattern that I know a little better. But it's fun to try things and I will definitely try this again but uh, I will try to make it a lot better but I think it looks quite okay. So if you want to subscribe just uh, press uh, this uh, picture here or if you want to see another film or the next uh, film uh, press uh, this square with a little thumbnail on it. Thank you for watching this uh, attempt. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye bye.